Okay, my friends, so we are going to start basically with the out of the box review. I actually did a couple of things already to this model, but I will show you how I did it. Uh, so let's start with the fuselage right here. Uh, the fuselage, guys, is actually a very nice build fuselage. It is all fiberglass. Uh, see, very nice. I have a few pieces of wood basically bracing the 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 fiberglass this part right here is strong this bag right here because all these bends and the wood they have inside is very strong because this is where the wings go in place this is a hole right here a little hatch this is probably to screw the wings in place uh, very nice very nice then we have the wings they are built out of balsa wood and covered with plastic uh, the shrinks with heat and as you can see this a uh, they did a very good job on this thing. I mean, there is no bubbles or wrinkles. This is a very nice, very nice wing. Uh, you notice I already cut the hole for the servo. Uh, this, the hole basically is already cut on the wood. You just have to cut it off on the plastic or cut the plastic off of it basically. So you can put the, the hatch on it. This is the next aileron, I mean, wing right here. And the irons are actually do not come installed. With each, which is good because you really want to do it yourself so you can be more confident about it uh, I already installed them on place they come with CA hinges but I'll show you how to do that uh, on, on uh, some pieces of wood for example really and this is the the vertical stabilizers on this thing and the boom the, the tail boom uh, which is very nice guys I have base wood in it and balsa wood construction I cover is plastic again and again I already cut right here the notch where the horizontal stabilizers it slides into it but I mean all the stuff, things are easy to do you, you just feel for a foil whatever it is and just cut it uh, I did not trim it out uh, I may do I may don't we'll see with the instructions whenever we get to this point of the build uh, very nice both of them are covered with plastic uh, I would say monocoat but I don't really know if this one is the monocoat brand but uh, very nice they did a great job on this design then right here we have the elevon or particular stabilizer I mean horizontal stabilizer uh, with the elevator already glued into it on place again very nice I don't have a bunch of hardware I already opened the bag and took and check you know inside but you really can't tell what you're missing or if you are missing anything until you start building uh, and these are the little hatches for for the covers basically for these wings right here like I say the, the hole already is cut on the wood and you just have to cut the plastic off of it to and then this goes right here and the hole the hole is already cut for your servo arm is already cut too on the this piece of plywood so that is nice you just have to cut the covering off of it like I did here and you know it's gonna go on place right there so this is very nice uh, and of course we got a set of push rods and the car I mean the aluminum tube that goes on the wing and we have a very long push rod here which I'm guessing is for the throttle control you know on your fuel power setup but I'm gonna be doing electric so I'm not gonna be using these long push rods and we have the cockpit right here they actually uh, is, is being modeled already but you have to cut it off the excess plastic basically you have to cut the excess pl plastic off of it and you can actually see the line where you're gonna cut it so don't worry too much about that you can see the line where it's supposed to be cut at so we can cut the excess plastic off and put it on place and we have right here a little sheet that have all the specifications of it all the warnings and you know flying weight and everything so very nice we have the sheet with the decals on it they are not pre-applied so we're gonna have to do this ourselves uh, this is gonna be probably the last thing we're gonna do uh, although it could be the first thing you know so you won't have to worry about it whenever you have the plan together but we'll leave it for last and the most important thing is the manual we got it here and I recommend you to do basically read this thing twice at least before you start building this plane because you are going to need all the info you need and not just for this plane for any other plane that you build 
you really need to read the, the instructions at least twice before you start trying to put things together uh, it's actually very simple it's gonna be fast to read because there is not much to read <laughs> it's all pictures really and it's all pictures on how to build it and that is good and bad at the same time you know because you really want some instructions written uh, so how to do things but the pictures are good for me uh, uh, I'm not complaining about the, about being just pictures but again this is I guess the, yeah this is how to do the power the electric power setup and it, it does specify where the CG is so that's good so okay my friends uh, we're going to start the build of this plane uh, the first thing I did that I showed you before was cut the holes for these wing alerons because according to the instruction this is the first thing we're going to do and I'm gonna go by the book basically and now when you cut the covering off of this plastic right here guys uh, cut it about a, a one eighth of an inch inside the the edge don't, don't go ahead and cut it on the edge because then when you're moving that hatch in and out you're probably going to be peeling this thing on and off and you're going to you know be messing with this plastic right here so cut it about one eighth of an inch inside all the way around it's nice and pull it off and then use your heat iron which is what i use right here uh, use your iron right here and basically fold it in very nice and you can see right there it is actually folded in to the air all the way around this in that way you're going to prevent all that uh, peeling off by putting the hatch in and out whenever you have to service the ser the, the servo so this done uh, i actually did it already on bob wings and then we have the hatches right here they are the ones that are going to hold our servo in place and like i said before i already cut the hole right here and did the same thing uh, I, I push the cut the plastic I uh, actually cut it right on the middle of the hole and just push it in and cut a little corner right here and push it in and fold it to the inside and you can see it in there you can see right there and that way again we're going to prevent any peeling from this plastic right here and then we're just going to install this right here with the servo on the, the servo actually goes on the hatch it doesn't go directly on the wing but on the hatch of this on this playwood hatch we actually we're going to put a little block woods over here uh, on both sides and then we're going to screw the that to it and then we're going to screw this hatch over the, the wing so okay my friends uh this is all we're going to be doing today so next video we're probably going to install all the servos in place uh, i'm going to build the aircraft first and wait it and see how much prop clearance we're going to have and then we're going to choose our power setups so okay my friends uh, thank you for watching see you next fly